They're calling this the creepiest rap record on YouTube. I don't know why. I think it's very relatable. I think a lot of people are going to look at it and think, I can relate to these lyrics. They're deep, they're meaningful. And I have my notes for the lyrics because it needs good explanation because it is a phenomenal video. This is a character that has sprung to surface simply because friends of mine were saying, have you heard of Dan Bull? And I said, no, I've never heard of him. And that's the thing I love about my channel. My sources for new artists come from everywhere. You, the fans, people who subscribe, and also friends around me, or I could be in a coffee shop talking and somebody mentions a name. But I'm so glad they mentioned this song. I think it's a song coming up to Christmas, coming out of a COVID, lots of things going on in the world. A lot of us are just going crazy. We're going out of our minds because of the political changes, the social changes, and has an impact mentally and physically on us. So if it's creepy, it's also relatable. And that is why I'm playing this song. And we'll go into the lyrics about it as well. What is the song about though? I'm going to give you a summary of it. The song, I'm heading out of my mind by Dan Ball, explores the struggles of one's mind and the desire to escape from it. The lyrics depict a sense of restlessness and unease symbolized by the darkness and the shadows that permeate this song. People will say to me, who is Dan Ball? And live on air, I'm just going to Dan Ball. Get him up. Because it's all new to me. It was only mentioned two days ago. And I said, I'll definitely look into him. He sounds really, really interesting. He is known as Daniel George L. Bull is a British rapper and songwriter, known best for his songs about video games, which he publishes on his YouTube channel. He used to collaborate with fellow art artist Dave Brown. However, he now sometimes collaborates with other fellow artists, Greg Holgate, on the music internet. So that's him. He's from England. He's British. He's called Dan Bull. He's alternative. And even if you go looking, and I always get my lyrics from Genius Lyrics, it says rap and nerd core so there's a nerdiness about him and the music and it's known as nerd core and that is what we're going to watch very alternative in many ways but you know the song is something i think we all need to listen to we'll have a bit of a smile with it as well but it's something we just need to take in absorb and i guarantee you'll love this guy as much as me straight after Take it away. Welcome to the channel, Dan Ball. Sunshine sinks down, shadows no longer. Everybody else in your house is a slumber. But how can you slumber, drowned in the somber assumptions thou put upon your insomnia? Is it any wonder your mind might wander out to the yonder and down to the wonders? Under the surface, submerged subconscious, the pure blue seas now a vile brown arm. Well, everyone else is deep asleep without the beep of peace. Get out the state beneath you, out the shell, you freak, you creep. Surrounded, steeped in deep beneath, you're bound to be bullied A feeling, a feeling not even found in the foulest fever dream Our self-esteem depletes, and we allow the lid to seep Into the ground beneath our feet until our trousers need a clean And only now you've been to me so well that hell's a sweet relief <laughs> You might as well release the beast I'm out in the light out Never overstays, forever open late. Show your gaze at the abyss and nothing little show mermaids. Bioluminescent creatures with a kind of human essence, features and expressions too oppressive to believe. There's some monster squatting in your subconscious, bottled in an obnoxious lockbox of unlock. Just watch off, got them hot. Now come up, you can look, but don't touch. Shh, beneath the deep blue quiet. I'm trying out to see food diet, eat 
and every seafood. See, I didn't die, and am I out of my mind? There's not a doubt in my mind. How the hell else could I rhyme? So well without trying, sounds about right. Proud of our pride, like elderly lines. A fool is forecast behind a prow without light. You're a fool, master, fool. Turn the lights out, turn the lights out. I'm heading out of my mind. Turn the lights out, turn the lights out. Is it lifting your confidence? Or is it the consequence of particularly difficult current events? I can easily see you with people, please. Uh, it's a form of defense. Here we get the please, the please for once come off from on the fence. This is a ham fisted attempt to prevent the strands twisting again. The hourglasses flip, the sand shifted again. Cast the drift, asterisk, that's the risk. And if you catch a quick glance of a basilisk, business end, you'll never have that vision again. This is the stuff that's found in dusty, dirty corners. All oh, the trawlers all from under murky, murky waters. Best be cautious, less be cautious. A storm, a call of deadly forces, and prematurely switch from really poorly kids to cops. Turn the lights out, turn the lights out. I'm heading out of my mind. Turn the lights out, turn the lights out. What fresh hell can I find? Now it's dark inside and it's dark out. We're out of the moonshine. Turn the lights out, turn the lights out. I'm on a seaweed diet, a seaweed bite, till I'm feeling high enough to really fly up to the bleeding sky, and then I really spy it. It's just me being violent. Seaweed dial up the vilest nihilist. Gaslight anybody, we see line. If you're questioning your memories from three weeks prior, till you need deep mired in the freezing fire of a mind that is defined as if it's thighs in its prime with a tiger in his eye. The survivors will be dying, and if it's dark in the sky, and it's dark down there If you're afraid of blood, can a shark smell fear? Turn the lights out, turn the lights out I'm heading out of my mind Turn the lighthouse down, turn the lighthouse What fresh hell can I find? Now it's dark inside and it's dark out We're out of the moonshine And I'm Figures stood amid the bloody rivers And your blubber quivers Cause it's gonna quiver Call it vicious If we call it fish It's a chromatic aberration An abomination Straight from the book of revelations It's quiet on the surface The Leviathan emerges To remind us life is worthless It's deprived of higher purpose Kinda like a Bible verse Cut up, divided by the merchants So the Viking heathen is breaking immersion By breaking versions While training with the Byzantine Empire And ancient Persians When a buyer purchases When a buyer purchases Bile purchases I alert to the vile Urges the fire church, it's fire virtues, it's fire milk cards and missing child searches. How atrocious. Listen to wild dirges. As your entire perfect lies lurch. Dredging through drudgery and red diverging as you divergently inside your fervent mind. Your last sleep, sleep in the sea. Turn the lights out, turn the lights out. I'm heading out of my mind. Turn the lights out, turn the lights out. So that's it, everybody. And you can understand why I've got my notepad full of um prior notes because when i saw the lyrics i thought what in god's name is this about saw the images had to really study the lyrics to get an analysis that's worth justifying such a great great video can i just say Dan Ball, i never heard of you but you are so popular amongst people i know that i felt wow i have to bring him on my channel and i'm so glad i did i honestly did not see that it, at all in its entirety and I say that from the heart when I say it I don't like to I like to study the lyrics I like to prepare the notes and get a feeling and a bit of karma and put it together and say well, let's just watch the video and see if it correlates and, and I can sew it together and I have my pen as well because you know I'm always even though I look like I'm I'm always taking little notes I'm constantly doing that it's the writer in me I've written three novels and my mind is always taking notes mentally or I have a pen in my hand or I have here even another notebook here I have lots of notebooks all around me I carry notebooks even when I walk with the dog in case I hear a funny comment or whatever so I'm always always 
you know, with the mind thinking. And when I saw the lyrics, this is what I came up with. Because we could go through systematically the lyrics and a lot of people would want that. And I'm thinking, do we do that? Because there's quite a bit to this. So I am going to do the intro, read it out, and then give you, now that I know what the video is about, it's reinforcing quite a bit of what I've said. The interest, and then I'll go to verse one, verse two, and correlate to my notes. People have often said, it's scripted. Yes, it is. And I want to say this to people. I do script quite a lot of my videos because some of them are so intensely difficult to understand. And my channel is an international channel where it's gone from 85 subscribers to 7,000 nearly. And I just want to say this, that 7,000 people from around the world speaking a language that they don't know trying to understand a language they don't speak that's up to me to have my notes ready to summarize the video if I feel it need I can do a line by line and go with it I'll do that if I feel like this song it needs me to summarize it so I can put it across as clearly as I can because to try and go line for line in this would be impossible and you've seen that with anybody that um, speaks English or knows of the English language and has looked at the, excuse me, tutting, I shouldn't do that. <laughs> and they look at the actual ver verse and the lyrics coming up will be like, what is this about? And that's where I come in. So yes, everybody, I, I've had a few trolls saying, you're so scripted. That's jealous reactors because my channel is constantly growing. That is Jealous Reactors because I constantly get great, great review. And that's Jealous people out there. And I call them reactors because they're fellow reactors who are thinking, oh, I speak better than most of the reactors on YouTube. I have probably got a far superior education in life because I'm decades older than some of them that react. And some of them react to 60s and 70s song songs and you think god how are they even doing this but i've had decades of music behind me so something like this and rap i love is is something i thrive on so we'll start with the intro sunshine sings sinks down he says the shadows grow longer everybody else in your house is a slumber but how can you you sorry how can you slumber drowned in the somber Assumptions are put upon you, insomnia. Is it any wonder your mind might wander out to the yonder and down to the wonders? Under the surface, submerged subconscious, the pure blue seas now a vile brown umber. So there's a lot of colloquialism in the, in the song and in these lyrics, in both the intro, verse one right through. That's why I have to come in here. I was raised in England, so therefore, when it comes to translating to you in English, it's easier for me to do. And then, obviously, I translate my videos into over 32 languages. So, we'll go through the meaning of it, all of it. The chorus says, turn the lights out now, turn the lights out. It suggests to me a desire to escape the overwhelming thoughts and ambitions of Dan. Burning the lighthouse down, what does that represent to you? I know what it represents to me. Is a drastic means of finding a new path. Because think of a lighthouse, think of the beam, and you know, ships in the fog always that they steer ships to safety. So put that in your head, put that symbolism in your head and this is what you know mentioning a lighthouse is about it's about steering you on the right course when, you, when you're feeling you're going out of your mind we've all been out of our mind we all go crazy we think other people are crazy when we become paranoid everybody is our worst enemy and it's trying like a lighthouse with that beam of light to switch on the light and just beam your thoughts all to one on the right path to healing so I got a lot of different layers to this so burning the lighthouse has said 
for me, represents that drastic means of finding that new path in life, of seeking something different, unknown. The darkness outside and inside reflects the mental state of mind of Dan, while heading out to, to their mind indicates a longing for a sense of freedom and relief from the inner turmoil, whatever ails them. It could be money worries. It could be, he, you know, he, when he wrote this, he, was, he had just split up. Or he's frustrated at being lonely and wants more sex in his life, more physical. And I'm sure, looking at him, he has no problem with that. But it can be the physical, it can be the mental, or it can be the personal. That's what I'm trying to say. We all have conflicts of interest. So verse 2. And I'm going to read this out now. It says, Deep down, down below the waves, I know a place. It's a dive. Now, a dive in English means it's a horrible place. Uh, it can mean two things. It can mean a dive is a messed up place. Or, in this sense, deep down, down below the waves, I know a place. It's a dive, you can go, you can go behave, so depraved. Your welcome's never overstayed. It's forever open late. And that's when you go further and further and further into the darkness and the epitome of your mind. And when we go further and further, we're feeling more and more depressed. We don't care what we, what we look like, what we feel. That, it's that kind of symbolism in here and he says your welcomes never overstay think about that when you go further further into depression and it consumes you it's it's like the osmosis effect you're consumed with the dark side well you know no matter what you do what you say it's all justified because there's no right and wrong in the dark world think about that so lower your gaze at the abyss enough and it'll show mermaids. In other words, you'll rise above the surface and you'll swim like mermaids, long mystical creatures that they are. You'll come out of it because it goes deeper into the internal struggles, everybody. And it describes that hidden place beneath the waves. Think about it. Where, where does the myth of the mermaids live? Deep beneath the waves. In a way that society may perceive as depraved because as I said, for all the reasons, it's the it's you're being consumed and you're going from the sane world of light and hope and freedom to that side of insanity. And it could be also represented as desires or aspects of the self that are seen as unacceptable when you look in the mirror and you see yourself going that way, and you know you age, you 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 just. You walk away from mirrors. Mirrors are your worst enemy. So we go into verse 3. I told you it's a dark, dark song, but the video was quite uplifting with the chorus when you think of it. Anyway, it says, By allusement creatures with a kind of human essence, features and expressions too repressive to believe. There's some monsters squatting in your subconscious. That's your demons bottled in an obnoxious lockbox I've unlocked just watch I've I've got them hooked because you see him in the video pulling up you know plastic dolls all the rubbish all all things of the past and when you think of those things he was pulling out they could be things related to him you know the doll could have been symbolic of his sister's toys when he was young but they weren't happy times and so he's casting a net pulling out and seeing the rubbish that's, and the way he's thinking that's in the pit of his stomach. So an obnoxious lockbox I've unlocked. That's how he describes it. Just watch. I've got them hooked now. Come up. So he, when he says come up, he's pulling them up. You can look but you can't touch. Shh. Beneath the deep blue quiet, I'm trying out seafood diet. Eating each and every seafood. See, I didn't die yet. I'm out of my mind. There's not a doubt in my mind. How the hell could I rhyme so well without trying? Sounds about right. Proud of our pride like elderly lions. A fall is forecast behind a prow without sight. Your foremast will fall last. 
And boy, does that need explaining. So you can wonder why on a lot of my songs, I have my notes structurally done. That is all about introducing your subconscious in the lyrics. You know, when he's pulling the net, you see it visually in the video with all the different things attached from his past and what ails him. And he refers to them as monsters and locked away thoughts. That's what that's about. And those monsters represent those negative thoughts, those insecurities that's in the pit of the stomach that have been bottled up but are now unleashed. He's caught them all. So when you've caught something in your net, it means you're starting to turn things around mentally. You're going from the insanity back to the sanity. You're dealing with your healing. You're dealing with what upsets you. It's a deep song, everybody. I said this. And by stepping off the metaphorical fence and asserting themselves, he challenges the status quo to break free from the expectations placed upon him. In other words, society wants us to think, act a certain way. A lot of us don't conform to that. And it's his way of saying, since a child and I grew up, I've been thinking this way. Society has got me into such a position in life that I just can't do this anymore. I want to be me, I want to be free. I want to pull up all the things in the pit of my stomach and get rid of them and then toss my net into the water as a clean net and just free my mind of these dark thoughts and demons. The song references the consumption of food, as we've just mentioned, and that's about the state of mind. The usage suggests he consumes their own thoughts and emotions, Nav navigating those depths, as I said, of the sea, of, but it's about the subconscious and finding strength in their own experiences. That was in the video. And very much, if you look at the lyrics, and as I said, I've lost the lyrics. Can you? Oh, I got them. It's all live. Are you fishing for compliments? Is it lifting your confidence? Or is it a coincidence of particularly difficult current events? I can see you're a people pleaser, aren't we all? It's a form of defense. You're eager to please, so please, for once, come off from the fence. This is a ham fisted attempt to prevent the strands twisting again. The hourglass is flipped. And you know all the sand that goes into the glass and we flip it? The sand's shifting again. Cast adrift. Asterix. And Asterix is a children's cartoon. And he had the big orange moustache, red hair, and he was the little Viking that could take on anything for his size. So, in other words, what Dan is saying here is you can take on anything any troubles that come your way that make you sink so low to the pit of your stomach you feel numb but you're consumed with bad thoughts you can do it that's the risk if you catch a quick glance at ballistics business end you'll never have that vision again in other words if you keep conforming if you keep conforming to society you'll never have reality hit you again if you live falsely you've got to live by your own rules within this world Dress the way you want, think the way you want, and be in a job that makes you happy in a place. You've got to go and search for that. People have to find their inner happiness again. It's about this. Because he said you'll never have vision again if you don't, he says. This is the stuff that's found in dusty, dirty corners. In other words, in the corner of your minds, the doubts, the fears, the apprehensions, I cannot, I cannot. What he's saying is turn those cannots into I can. And so, oh, that troll is whole from murky, murky waters. Best be cautious, lest we be a storm and call up deathly forces and prematurely switch from rarely poor kids to, and I'm going to read the rest of it out because it's long, to corp corpses. So he goes through, turn the light, that's the, the, cor the chorus, turn the lights out now, turn the lights out. In other words, turn the lights out. And don't confuse yourself between what you want and what's happening. Deal with what's happening. Go into the darkness. Go into the pits of your mind. Go into the pits of your stomach and start pulling up like he was on the ship. Those bits that are attached that's making you go crazy. So I'm on a seaweed diet, he says, in verse 5. I see weed, buy it till I'm feeling high enough. 
to really fly up to the bleeding sky and the chorus says turn the lights out now turn the lights there's a verse six sudden visions hooded figures stood amid the bloody rivers your your blubber quivers because it's unequivocally vicious every colored fish is a chromatic aberration and you see him swallowing the fish that's symbolism and i'll tell you what that's about in a minute then the bridge says listen to wild dirges as you enter the perfect life lurches and the chorus goes out turn the lights out turn the lights out and the outro is seaweed every day now we know seaweeds full of nutrients and vitamins but what the hell have i just talked about and this is my summary the seaweed is a metaphorical representation of Dan's state of mind. This usage suggests that they consume their own thoughts and emotions all the time, navigating those depths within his mind of their subconscious and finding strength in their own experiences of, you know, when you have to deal with it, when you have to rise above it. And the lyrics continue to delve into that dark and introspective theme throughout the six verses and the descriptions of bloody rivers looming figures these images reflect the chaotic and overwhelming nature of Dan's thoughts the song concludes with a bridge that urges listeners to listen to their own wild dirges that's why I read that out and embrace their inner selves as I've talked about even when society appears to be moving in a different direction the reoccurring theme of seaweed represents the daily struggle and constant presence of these thoughts and emotions of your self-doubt your inner worth i cannot i don't know how to do this all of that but overall i'm heading out of my mind explores the complexities of the human mind the desire for escape and the need to confront and nav navigate like it said in the beginning with the lighthouse your own beam your own light to find that path to walk it serves a reflection on mental health societal pressures and the search for personal growth and understanding. A complex song, but one that has taken a long time to explain, and I have minimalized it to this video to its extreme. So I hope you've enjoyed Dan Bull's complicated, creepiest, I'm heading out of, um, uh, out of my mind. If you have, don't forget to like and subscribe. Take care.